Polycythemia vera is a type of myeloproliferative neoplasms in which the bone marrow produces too many red blood cells. It may also result in the overproduction of platelets and white blood cells. In 98% of patients, this problem occurs when a mutation happens in JAK2 gene. This condition makes the blood thicker and can lead to some serious problems such as stroke, blood clot, and other organ damage. Most of patients are discovered incidentally when there is an elevated hemoglobin or hematocrit level and complete blood count. The hemoglobin concentration in about 75% of these patients are higher than 18.5 g per deciliter. Platelet and white blood cell count are higher than normal in half of the patients. The symptoms of polycythemia vera may differ depending on the affected organs in the body. Symptoms can be any of the following. Headache, dizziness, inability to concentrate, shortness of breath, lack of energy, visual disturbance, pruritis, and high blood pressure. Gastrointestinal symptoms such as stomach pain, gastroesophageal reflux disease, and peptic ulcer disease are common. If a doctor suspects the presence of polycythemia vera, he or she might recommend bone marrow biopsy and aspiration. Hypercellularity, including prominent erythroid and pleomorphic megakaryocytes, should be seen in the sample. There is no definite cure for polycythemia vera. The treatment just focuses on reducing the complications. The most common treatment is phlebotomy or blood withdrawal, which is the same procedure you would have to donate blood. Phlebotomy reduces the blood volume and the concentration of red blood cells. Frequent phlebotomy is needed to keep the hematocrit below 45%. If phlebotomy is not enough alone, cytoreductive therapy should be started. In this method, the doctor prescribes medications that reduce the number of red blood cells, such as hydroxyurea and biosulfan. Laudose aspirin can be used to dilute the blood if there is no contraindication for its use.